Hello everyone, and today I am going to be starting my first LP. I am Alicia. Oh, of this. Oh. oh. <laughs> Apparently I already have some, um, distractions. Okay, anyway. Today I'm going to be starting my first LP. I wanted to choose a game that I hadn't really seen done very much. So I decided I'd try a game that I've, I've done a thousand times through because it introduced my favorite character of all time, that's in right there, Shadow. Um, so I'm gonna get started on this, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So, let's just get started, shall we? As you can see, I've already kinda started a little practice file because I love this game. I'll be honest, I've wasted hours and hours by that playtime. You probably can't tell, but I've wasted hours and hours on this game, because there's one component to this game. I don't know if you guys want to see it, I want your opinion on this, but there is an extra little side thing called Chow. Um, I cannot tell you how many hours I have wasted on those little guys. They are so cute, though. Um, I'll, I'll sit there for hours and hours and hours just trying to get the video as awesome as I can, so I want to know if you guys want to see that. If you want to see anything extra, just tell me about it, say something in the comments, and I will listen. Okay, so today we're going to be starting one of the stories. I'll be honest, I'm going to be starting the dark story because it introduces my favorite character, as I stated before. So let's get started. Okay, so we're starting the first level here, Iron Gate. Okay, I'm going to explain the um, mechanics of this so far. Um, use B to lock on, well this is for Eggman, and later another character, I'm sure you probably already know who it is. Oh, why are you this here? Anyway, as I was saying, um, B to lock on, A to jump. Um, just Keep blasting, blasting crap up. Not much different than that. These little things are called chaos drives. They are for the chow as well as animals. That is Omo Chow right over here. This little annoying guy right here. He's really cute though, so it's okay. Um, basically he is the tutorial guy. Now Eggman's sections are all going to be basically shooter sections. Luckily though, it does not, it's not like a first person shooter, because I'll be honest, I suck at those. I like them, but they don't like me. <laughs> anyway, Eggman segments are going to be shooters. Now, obviously, goal is not to die. No, really? You think? <laughs> anyway, these right here are rig boxes, little item boxes that can hold different things like invincibility. Rings, as you saw. Rings, of course, I'm sure everyone knows, but uh, I'm assuming no prior knowledge at this point. Um, rings are basically what keeps you alive. When you lose all your rings, you get to zero, you get hit again, you die. Luckily, though, I don't think that's going to be a problem. The thing that apparently to be that apparently seems to be a problem is Schroeder. Because it doesn't like me, apparently. I don't know, I've tried this many times before, practiced this. 
I don't know. Doesn't seem to like me. <laughs> ah, but when did technology like me? Okay, this is moving absurdly slow. I'm going so slow, why? We don't need to be going so slow. I see there are enemies. Okay, here's another little mechanic. If you want bonus points, get better rankings. Because rankings are based on time, ring collection, and the damage as well as bonus points such as these. Now, the more enemies you lock onto with Eggman or said character later, um, I'm, I'm sure you already know who it is, but eh, I'm assuming zero knowledge, like I said. Anyway, the more you lock onto at one time, the more of a bonus you get. So, you're going to want to do that in segments like this, because it is absurdly easy to do so. So, basically, these are just free extra points that you could get for no reason whatsoever. And hey, I think we will all happily take the said extra points. Okay, anyway, these are beetles. Basically, they're the flying... Oh, golden beetle, golden beetle. Okay, those guys appear only for a little while, and then they disappear or, disappear or teleport away. What? I tried to say disappear or teleport. I don't know. I ended up saying both. Okay. My good words. Add it to the dictionary, please. Anyway, um... Basically, those are the floating enemies. Those golden ones, like I said, only appear for a little while, so you're going to want to get them as soon as they can because they give you a big mo bonus multiplier. I'm scanning a lot more item boxes. There is a little something, hint to do hint hint, through there that we will be able to get later but cannot get for right now because we cannot destroy those yet, can we? Nope. No, we can't. As I suspected. Well, I already knew that. Yeah. Why the heck not? Anyway, we gotta keep going. Oh, those pipes. If you whistle by those pipes, they'll pull, they will call out an animal, as so. Those animals, as I mentioned, are for Chow. Certain animals will give you certain stat increases in Chow. Stats for Chow... Oh, yeah, I'll explain this. People might want this. I don't know. Um, stats for Chow are power, speed, Flying, um, swim, and stamina. Certain ones, based on the color of the animal and what the animal is, will, in will give you certain increases and decreases. Therefore, that gives you a lot of availability in what you want to raise your child to be. I'm going to, like I said, this is optional. I don't know if you guys want me to do it, because knowing me, I would spend way too long in there. Or I could just give you a little overview of it. I leave it up to you guys if you want to see any of that extra stuff because I know I might go overboard with it. That's just me. Because I love those adorable little guys. They're so smelly. I like them. Oh, yeah, that little boxing glove right there. I don't think I explained that the first time that showed up. Basically, oh, tiger! Yay! Basically, that only, um, that attack is only used if you're really close to them. So basically, that's bas that's like the attack that. Wow, am I saying basically enough? I don't know. <laughs> that's the attack that when you're really close to something and it's like, oh, you're not locking on yet. Oh, okay, then I'll just fight it for you anyway. Yay for mechs. As long as it doesn't involve dual analog control shooters, then I'm fine. <laughs> like I said, though, I've played through this game numerous, numerous times. I've actually gotten all the emblems in it, gotten completion. The only thing that I'm worried about with this is that, as you can see, it seems to be a little bit slow. Plus, some of the levels tend to be a little bit more difficult. Oh, there goes the heater. <laughs> um, the setup that I'm using is a little bit difficult to use, otherwise I would be kicking so much more butt here. But I'm, I'm doing pretty good, I think. Yep, according to that little... Indication up there, yes I am. <laughs> hey, purple! Yay, purple! I like seeing my purples. Um, basically though, I played through this. The only thing that I'm worried about is that with certain levels later, it's going to get really hard to play with my setup, but I've, I'm going to be practicing it a lot more off, um, off recording, obviously. So, I have plenty of time to work on that. Why don't you target that guy over there? Target him. Thank you. Kill. Destroy. Name. 
Thank you. I'm not violent, right? <laughs> I'm not violent at all. Who said video games make you violent? <laughs> They're insane. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to make this a little bit more interesting because I know that this gets really boring sometimes. And shooter segments aren't exactly my favorite. We get into my later segments. Um, later segments aren't tend to be my favorite. We get into those pretty soon. And we'll also pretty soon get into a lot of other mechanics that I enjoy a lot more than shooters. Because I'm good at them, but it, it just isn't that much fun. Plus, the shooters in later parts get kind of annoying. So it really matters on your preference here. I'm not one for these segments, but eh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Plus, these segments, I'll give you a little hint here. If you are raising Chow, these segments are really good for getting these chaos drives. They aren't as good for animals as the other segments. However, they are very, very good for getting chaos drives, because you will get a ton of them. And chances are you're not going to fall off the edge as much. Well, in here, you can't. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's just a lo little less hazardous. You have more health there. Basically, that little health gauge at the bottom, I'm surprised I forgot to um, mention this. For these kind of segments, like Eggman segments and the other character that I mentioned, basically, these segments, even when you start when you start losing rings, you'll have that gauge go down. Now, unlike the other ones where you get to zero rings and you die at the end, oh, by the way, go ring, that means the end. But if you turn around here, you see a little blue box. What does this do? It's a key to the Chow Garden, if I can turn, play, hey camera. Hey, camera! Okay, you don't want me to turn the camera around. Okay, well basically that's a key to the Chow Garden. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing that unless you guys want me to, so... I just get going. And the level. See, there's the little key back there. Basically, though, with the gauge, even when you get to zero rings, if you still have um, a little bit on that gauge there, you could keep going. With the other segments, you can't. Zero rings, one more hit, you're dead. As you see here, there's our time, there's our score overall, our rings. That up to the total score, which gives you your ranking. Apparently I got a B, which is really good. Basically though, if you take that key in the background, you will go directly to the Chow Garden. In story mode, it's a little bit different than if you go normal mode, but... Like I said, I'm only doing that if you guys want me to, because I know I'm going to waste way too much time. Anyway, cutscene. I'll be quiet here. I think the audio and the game are a little bit desynced here, I don't know. Let's just, let's just keep going. I'll fix that later. I think they stole this room for perfect dark. Well... Sorry. I stopped commentating. <laughs> What's that? Is that you? 
you, Sonic? Are you trying to spoil my plans again? Wait a minute. You're not Sonic. This is impossible. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master. Okay, and with that, we have the introduction of my this favorite Sonic Sonic character of all time, Shadow. Not only does he look awesome, but he is awesome. You, you'll see why I like him so much later, but... God, he's awesome! Okay, these are the second types of segment, the second type of segment that you'll have here. Okay, let's see if I can do this little tricky tricky. Nope. Come over here. Come over here. Please? Please, I want to kill you. Nope. Okay, you're gonna land. Okay. Basically, this guy is a boss. Walker, as you could probably tell. Okay, now he's gonna start trying to fire out these beams at you. Like this. All you have to do is run around and jump to avoid him. Not hard, eh? Basically, this guy just goes around everywhere flying. Does he like to fly? Who doesn't like to fly? Okay. Nope. Oh, uh, failed that. <laughs> if you get on top of those second boxes and he comes by you, and he comes right at you, you can actually attack him. Okay. He's gonna launch missiles at us, but if you get him quick enough, you don't have to worry. Now do you? No, no, you don't. Basically, this guy's easy. He just takes three or four hits. Not any problem. I'm just glad that we get to introduce these second segments here. While this is a boss fight, this is kind of a- Mike walked right into that! <laughs> Why did I do that? I'm not this bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Trust me. I'm not. I just seem to be flubbing it up. Because I just walked right into that. Anyway, um... This is the second part of the segment. As you can tell- Wait, this isn't a shooter anymore? <gasps> what the heck is this? Well, this is the second segment. Shadow, as well as another character on the hero story. I'm sure you already could tell from this picture of the hero story. So you know what, I'll stop eluding. Shadow and Sonic, both of them have these segments. They're just running around action segments, much different from Tails and Eggman, who have the shooting segments. We'll get into Knuckles and the other character, which I will not be spoiling because she is also introduced around here. Very soon, in fact. Um... They have another segment that I will explain when we get to their level. But I think after this boss fight, we are going to stop this. So let's just finish this guy off, kick his butt, and call it a day, shall we? Yep, you're landing a bit earlier than I expected there. Nope, no, no, no. I don't like that, sir. Yay. Basically, Shadow and Sonic are the speed segments. You just go through everything. And just normal action segment. Eggman and Tails are the shooter segments. And then Knuckles and the other character that will be introduced very, very soon are going to be another type of segment that I will explain when we get to it. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you were grabbed? Okay, yeah, the audio is definitely off here. I'm gonna have to fix that. Sorry about that. <laughs> First time recording. Bring more chaos emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room. Glitchy shadows. Space colony oh, glitchy shadows of shadow. Lol. Wait, isn't that Eggman shadow? <laughs> Glitch! Oh, Glitch central. This amuses me! <laughs> okay, anyway, I, I would be quiet and... <laughs> oh, another one. Hmm, it's familiar.
got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. Hang your head and shake that man. <laughs> Okay, and welcome to the second level. However, as I stated, we're going to be cutting this off here. I will explain this in the next episode. So, this has been Alicia, and have a nice day, you guys. See ya!